Good evening and welcome to tonight's story time. My name's Adam Ranger and I'll be telling you your story tonight. The story I've chosen is a story called The Cat's Purr. Originally, this was a story by Ashley Bryan. My version differs slightly to Ashley Bryan's version, but it's important that you know that the original was by Ashley Bryan. So, my story starts with a band, an orchestra. An orchestra that travelled the world making music. The best music anybody had ever, ever heard. Anybody who saw this orchestra play agreed that they had probably seen the best that they would ever, ever see. They could not imagine seeing another orchestra play so beautifully, so wonderfully as this. The songs they played, the music they played made people laugh, it made people cry. It was just the most wonderful musical experience they had ever had. Now the wonderful thing about this orchestra was that it was made up of animals. Yes, that's right, animals. The leader of the band was Cat. A bit more about Cat in a minute, but I think I'll tell you a bit about the members of this wonderful orchestra. On guitar, we had Dog. Hound Dog. Hound Dog was the best guitarist that ever lived. He could play rock and roll, he could play softer music, but he loved the rock and roll and the screaming guitar lines. But he could also do the softer stuff as well. You need a bass player too, of course, and the bass player in this orchestra was the Hippopotamus. Now Hippo could play the fantastic running bass lines, the perfect counterpoint to hound dogs squealing guitars. And you need a piano player in an orchestra, don't you? And everybody knows that horses make the best piano players. Yes, a horse, of course. So the horse was the piano player. The horse in this band was the best piano player, not just in the animal kingdom, but in the whole wide world. He could tinkle those ivories like no animal has ever done before or has ever done since. And you need a horn section, a brass section, if you like, in your band. And this orchestra had the best horn section ever. The trombonist. Now, who do you think would play the trombone? Have you ever tried playing the trombone? It takes a lot of energy and puff to slide that snider in and out. So, of course, the trombonist was a giraffe. She could draw up loads of air and a long neck, enough to put the slider in and out, and she could play that trombone just fantastically. There was a trumpet player. Now the trumpet player was a gorilla. A gorilla has fingers a bit like humans, but this gorilla could really, really play the trumpet. He could play the trumpet for hours on end without having to stop. And he could play the jazz and the rock and the blues, anything you wanted. He was just amazing. And you need a saxophone player really as well. And the saxophone player in this orchestra was the rhinoceros. Rhinoceros really loved the sax. He could play the jazz and the upbeat stuff as well as the slow mournful music and everything in between. And the three of them together, the trombonist and the saxophone and the trumpet, the giraffe, the gorilla and the rhino, they were just the perfect horn rhythm section. The best that's ever, ever been. And there were other animals too, of course. You had the cow. The cow played the flute. Yes, the flute. The cow could play that flute beautifully. Just wonderful notes the cow could get from that flute. Nobody has ever, ever heard such flute playing since. And there were smaller animals too. The frog, for instance. The frog played the banjo. Now frogs spend a lot of time on lily pads, so he had plenty of time to sit there practicing the banjo and there were nobody around that could play the banjo like Frog. So he fitted right in with the band. And you had the rattlesnake. Well, you know what the rattlesnake had. Built-in rattle. And that rattle, he could rattle between the music at the right places, giving that subtle sound that you wouldn't know it was there until you listened to it without it. And then you realise what a contribution that rattle made to that whole music. And there was a triangle player too. Now I know some of you maybe think the triangle is bing and nothing else, but there's time you have to come in at the right moment to lead everybody else off on different lines. 
So the triangle player was a meerkat. And the meerkat was just the best triangle player you had ever seen. He was attentive, waiting for the right moment, and then, bing, always coming in perfectly, just at the right time. Now the mice were in the band too. The mice played the mouse organ. Now the mouse organ is like a smaller piano, isn't it? But much changed sound from the big piano of the horse. Fantastic mouse organ. Hollow notes, mournful notes, happy notes. The mouse organ was just fantastic to the band. You need a mouth organ or harmonica as well, perhaps, yeah? And the parrot played the mouse organ. The parrot played the harmonica, the mouth organ. You wouldn't think he could, could you? But I tell you, in this band, anything was possible. It was just wonderful. You had the backing singers of all the other birds in the animal kingdom who tweeted their backing sings like nobody else has ever heard before. The sweet music of the skylarks, the sweet music of the jays. The whole animal kingdom loved to hear them sing. So, now how many more animals? I could be here all night telling you about the other animals in the band and the music they played, but this I think we get the point, don't we? This band of animals was the best band of animals in the whole world. But I said I'll tell you about Cat, the leader. Cat played the drum. Not just any drum. He played a drum that was given to him by his dad. That was given to him by his dad, by his dad and his dad before. You get the picture. It was a very, very old drum. And it was like a magical drum. The drum played such beautiful sounds that nobody has ever heard of from a drum. You didn't just bang this drum and make a boom sound. You stroked it with the sticks and it came with these rhythms and these rhythms rose and that's what the rest of the band followed. And that's why the band was so good. They followed Cat and his rhythms and they took them into wonderful journeys. So Cat was a very good drummer but he was also the leader of the band. But there was a friend of Cat's called Rat. Now, Rats and Cats used to get on very well indeed. Rat and Cat were very best friends. They really were. But Rat had a problem. Rat wanted to be in the band, which was fine. But the problem was Rat was not musical. Rat couldn't play a single thing. Rat tried playing the saxophone, didn't work, sounded awful. Rat tried playing the piano, <laughs> was no better. Rat tried playing the, the triangle and he even got that wrong, keep coming in at the wrong places. Rat tried every single instrument and none of them made any kind of music when Rat played them. The other members of the band said to Cat, look, we know Rat is your friend, but he can't be in the band. He's just so bad. He's terrible. He puts us off. His sound is awful. And we can't play when he's standing next to us. You know, he can't be in the band, Cat. You must tell him. Well, Cat was a bit sad about this because Rat, being his best friend, you don't like to tell your best friends that they can't be with you in your group, do you? But Cat sat Rat down and said, listen, Rat, you can't play. You can't be in the band. Why don't you... Be our manager, or our roadie, or our publicist. You can help the band in that way. Well, Rat wasn't happy about this because Rat wanted to be in the spotlight like Cat and the other animals. He didn't want to be in the back scenes, not being seen at all. He wanted to be out there in the front with the spotlight on him and the crowd clapping him. So Rat said to Cat, Cat, if I could just play your drum, I'm sure I would be able to play that. Cat shook his head. No, Rat. Only Cat plays Cat's drum. Rat can't play Cat's drum. You know, only Cat plays Cat's drum. I cannot let you play the drum. But please, Cat, said Rat, just once and you'll see how good I could be on the drum. That could be, could be my musical instrument. No, 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 Rat. My drum is only played by me, the Cat. And you know that. Rat did know that. Cat looked after that drum. He took it everywhere with him. He even slept with it with his paws around it so that nobody would take it away. So Rat knew that there was no way Cat would let him take the drum. But the more he thought about it, the more he got cross. The more Rat thought Cat was being selfish. 
the more Rat thought about it, the more he thought he had the right to play Cat Drum. He was Rat, he should be able to play Cat Drum. So he thought of a plan about how he could play Cat Drum and trick Cat. So it happens that one night, when Cat was sleeping with his paw around his drum, Rat crept into his room with a white feather. Rat crept up to Cat and he tickled his nose with the feather. Cat brushed his nose with his paw. Unfortunately, it was the paw that wasn't holding the drum. Rat tried again and tickled his nose again. And once again, Cat brushed his nose. But again, it wasn't the one with the drum. Rat wasn't disheartened and he tried again. This time, he tickled him twice. He tickled him in the ear and on the nose and in the ear and on the nose. And at this point, Cat put his arms in the air and tried to wave away whatever it was that was buzzing around him. And at that moment, Rat seized the chance and grabbed the drum and he ran out of the room as fast as he could. Well, seeing that the drum was gone, the cat jumped up and alert and saw his drum washing away across the floor. And there were four little legs and a long tail underneath the drum. And Cat knew that Rat had stolen his drum. How could he? His best friend. Cat was so angry, he jumped down onto the floor and chased Rat with a drum. Rat was very quick, but Cat was also quick. Rat zigzagged around, the cat zigzagged around. Cat made it to the front door before Rat did, so Rat did a bout take and went out the back door. Cat was still following him though, and Rat ran in down the garden path. Cat was right behind him down the garden path. He was gaining on him. Rat jumped into a bush. Cat jumped onto a wall and jumped over the bush and landed right behind Rat. Rat was running for all he was worth with the drum on his back, but the cat was catching him slowly. And the more he ran, the more the cat got angry and thought, when I get my drum back, I'm gonna eat Rat. I'm gonna eat Rat for stealing my drum. And he chased after him with all his might. And it got to the stage where he was so close that he decided now was the time to pounce on Rat. And he made to pounce with his claws out to grab Rat. At this moment, Rat realised that he was going to be caught and there was nothing else he could do. All he could think of doing was to pick up the drum and throw it over his shoulder as hard as he could. And that's exactly what he did. Now, as I said, Cat was at this point pouncing. So when the drum came flying over Rat's back, it went smack into his face. and <coughs> Cat swallowed the drum. <coughs> Rat made his exit and ran away and was never seen in that part of the world again. Rat was gone, but Cat was still there. And he recovered from swallowing his drum and wondered what he could do. He coughed, <coughs> trying to get the drum out. He couldn't. He patted himself on the back. <coughs> still the drum didn't came out. He called the other animals from the band, Hippo and Gorilla, patted him and gave him a, a hug and a manoeuvre to push it out and they gave him water like you do with hiccups and they tried to scare him but nothing would make this drum come out of Cat's tummy. Cat was very depressed and that's the point when Horse walked up to him and rubbed his belly and said don't worry Cat I'm sure we'll think of something and the moment he rubbed his belly a strange sound came out. As he rubbed his belly the drum sounded in Cat's tummy. Cat tried it too and rubbed his belly and there was the <laughs> And it's true. There was the drum in the cat's belly. But it stayed there and wouldn't come out. The band broke up after that because without Cat's ability to lead the band, they couldn't play together. They were solo musicians. So nobody ever heard that band play again. But to this day, if you have a cat, I'm sure many of you do, and if you have a cat and you stroke it gently, stroke it mind, not tap or bang or rap, stroke it, you will hear the in your cat's belly, I'm sure. The cat's drum lives on in all cats to this day. That is why cats purr. So that's a story called The Cat's Purr. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for listening. Do tune in tomorrow in the next few days for some more stories from some more wonderful storytellers. But for now, I will bid you good night.